Welcome, it's the gnome. So, is the altcoin season dead? Uh, is this it? Are we gonna head downwards? What's gonna happen? I will cover in this video. And uh, if we just take a look at the highest market cap coins out there, and you take a look at the 24 hour change, 7 day change, and 30 day change, you see a sea of red here. Like, almost all coins are down, and uh, it's not looking pretty. And I know a lot of people have actually lost money here. I know some of you guys have been making money, but mo for most people, it's just like uh, their portfolio is looking red, including me. So what should you do in this situation? Should you scout for more alts? Should you exit your alts that you have uh, uh, lost money on? What should you do? And this is a question that many people ask me, so I try to my best to answer that in this video. But before I answer everything, let's just take a look at Bitcoin. Because this I said in the last video that we are in a critical moment here and I don't think it will break to the 14k but if it will then I will be buying more Bitcoin but it actually broke to the downside and for me it's starting to look like it will come to this box area here between 12,000 and 11,300 basically and if you just take a look at the MACD it's the trend here is bearish as well as the RSI trend is bearish and if you take a look at the volume, the volume has, has actually been falling down instead of going up. So to me, it's looking like we will visit this area before we actually break this 13.8k uh, uh, level uh, resistance line. So we'll see how everything goes, but I do believe Bitcoin is going to go down. So usually if Bitcoin goes down, a lot of alts going go down also. So it's probably worth it just to be on the sidelines for now and not place any big bets. But if you are holding a coin, what should you actually do if your, your altcoin portfolio is down? Should you sell it or should you buy something else with it? And the good thing is that if your altcoin is down, it's probably not as much down as some other altcoins out there. So even though the dollar value is down, you can always switch from another project to another project if you think that is more bullish. So you have to always, like every single day, when you make an uh, investment decision it's a big decision but to not make an investment decision if you just keep holding like no I'm just gonna hold this one alt and not do any changes and uh, just hope it will go up and then you are locked in for that one single alt uh, that's not a good strategy it's better to look for opportunities out there that might be even better than the current alt that you are holding so one way to actually find the alts that have already bled dry <laughs> And this is sounds bad, but uh, it's this one. Uh, you actually uh, sort by the 30-day change here. It will take a little bit time for it to activate here. My Mac is running super hot right now. I may need to upgrade my uh, system at some point, but uh, <laughs> I, will, I will wait for the next altcoin season <laughs> for that to happen, I guess. Uh, we're not interested in these coins that have already mooned in the last 30 days. What we are interested in is the coins that have been bleeding the most in the last 30 days. So let's actually get this. So we're not interested in most, most coins in this list, because most coins here are probably literal, literal shit coins. And this one, for example, this is probably already dead. So we're not, we're not interested in those. And there may be many coins here that I don't know how good they are, how valuable they are. Like if this one has $6 million market cap, it could actually be a good project but I have no idea what it is so I'm not going to talk about that one there was a coin here that I actually recognized that I want to showcase in this video let me find it for you um, just a second it was quite down here here uni trade so this coin it has a 7.8 million dollar market cap which is actually pretty high for an altcoin but if you take a look at this one the first thing you want to look at is the chart. So this chart, uh, this moved uh, in September and it went to $2.5 and now it's down 90% already. So we're now at $0.27. And the second thing you want to look at is the circulating supply versus total supply. So the inflation coming into this coin is about uh, 50%. That's the or, or, or 2x actually. So the inflation coming to this coin is 2x, which is not super bad. And it's usually good to take a look at this one because there's coins out there 
that have massive inflation coming to those coins and if you hold that coin it may actually be that the, uh, the market cap doubles or triples or goes 10x but the price stays the same because the inflation is just so high so for this coin inflation is 2x so it's not good but it's not super bad and uh, this one is actually a quality project so what they allow you to do is they allow you to do uh, limit orders on Uniswap so you can do decentralized limit orders on Uniswap using Unitrade platform and you need the trade token in order to do those so it's actually a quality project and uh, yeah the, the tokenomics are good the chart is actually looking qu quite good I might make a special video about this later on I'm not exactly sure yet they just had a big announcement uh, not too long ago so I need to follow up on this one but this is uh, an interesting one for me uh, the second one it was here actually on the second page and it's another project that I covered in the past I made a video about it but I actually hid the video because I had um, a misunderstanding or the uh, project, project it, itself did some uh, questionable uh, marketing let me actually find it uh, swap or trust swap so this is a coin uh, that had a market cap of almost 100 million dollars and now it's 11 million dollars and uh, it's actually a quality project they help companies set up token locks for the investors and the team and the team actually have, has to hit some milestones before they can access those funds so they allow this uh, robust ecosystem for new projects out there which is a very cool one they also do uh, like a decentralized custodial uh, swaps or I don't there, there was a better word for it but uh, like if you want to do an OTC trade they allow that in a decentralized fashion and they already have partners for that and there are uh, more companies lined up for their pre-sale uh, project launchpad also so for this one I do think it's getting undervalued and if you just take a look at the trust swap tokenomics you can see that the circulating supply versus the total supply there's only 30 percent more tokens coming into the total supply or 40 percent more tokens coming into the supply so the inflation is very low and the chart is just looking very 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 good and i, I actually already ended entered this one earlier but to get more here it's probably a pretty decent idea because it's already at the lowest point so this one again uh, it could e easily double or triple here uh, given the right uh, circumstances it could go, go down like 50 percent but i don't know can it go much lower than that i think it's a quality project uh, even though they did some questionable marketing with preventing rug pulls which actually did not happen and a project out there that used their platform did a rug pull so now they have better communication and hopefully better safety measures for that not to happen again but again to see this at 11 million dollars i think it's uh, getting undervalued so this is another altcoin that I actually bought more today uh, I'm not gonna make a video about it in in the near future because I made one earlier I might make at some point but it's just one of those coins that could be interesting but just as a warning this is a coin that the chart looks like good and the volume here is already spiking but just take a look at this one circulating supply versus total supply there's more than 10x inflation coming to this coin so curve even though it's a quality project the market cap is 40 million dollars already and uh, the fully diluted market cap is like 500 million dollars and i don't think it's like that special in my opinion and just the inflation is so massive for this coin uh i don't, I don't i'm not bullish on this so always take a look at the circulating supply versus the total supply Another coin like that is actually Orion Protocol that I covered in the past. It has massive inflation coming to the coin, but the inflation is spread out for a very long period of time. So for that reason, uh, I'm willing to have it for the short term just to see when they actually launch the platform later on this year. So that's why I'm bullish on Orion because they have a big thing coming. But for Curve, they don't have anything big coming in my opinion as far as I know. So for that reason, I don't just i don't think it's too bullish for that next one uh, is xio they actually have a big announcement coming to, uh, later on today uh, they call it the state of the nation 
and uh, they're gonna release more uh, dates as well as they're gonna give more details of how the flash taking works how everything works in the platform so I'm quite interested to see how that goes if the news are bearish then this will tank of course if the news are bullish then this could uh, spike up today so I just want to cover that in this video that this could spike today because they have news coming uh, today that they have been hyping for the last two weeks already so we'll see how that goes but this is something you may uh, actually be interested to look at uh, is there another one here uh, there's one more I actually want to showcase because I made a video about it and it's very very questionable I will probably give get some flack for showing this but I just want to showcase this just as an idea that even though it's what they did is super shitty and what like yeah it's basically a pump and dump scheme that happened but now the price is 0.8 dollars and this is like tanked almost to nothingness even though they are partnered with binance and they have like yield farming coming up with their venus protocol and they just ended their binance launchpad project which is why the price has actually been tanking so hard so I don't know if you are bullish on Swipe or not, but it's just very hard for me to ignore this because it has tanked so hard already. And a lot of people are discarding Swipe and they are throwing it to the trash. And for me, just looking at objectively, this could be a buying opportunity. I'm not saying it is, but if you are bullish on Swipe, uh, the market cap here says it's $54 million dollars. And I think it could be undervalued because they still have the cards and the perks are there. The cards are working. They just uh, added the fiat uh, payment systems there. So you can actually pay with uh, British pound, uh, US dollar and the euro. You can pay with those with the card, no longer only crypto. So a lot of things are happening here. I don't want to be too bullish on this, but I just want to showcase in this video that there are some coins that have... Uh, the circulating supply versus the total supply in this scenario uh, is not super good, but they, they are actually burning uh, swipe tokens every day from circulation because of this uh, deal they have with Binance. So this one, it actually the total supply will peak at about 150 million uh, tokens or 200 million tokens and then it goes back to 100 million tokens so for me i'm thinking that the total supply here is 100 million tokens because that's what it what it will be in four years from now so this is just going down every day because there's they are burning sxp tokens every day so the circulating supply versus total supply in this scenario you just have to know the details how the project works for this one but for me i just want to showcase that it could be an opportunity uh, uh, to get in uh, I'm not sure though, but I just want to showcase in this video that uh, there are coins out there that are interesting right now to look at. But uh, should you enter any of these right now or wait? It's probably a wise idea to wait because there's not much bullishness for alts going on because of the elections coming up in the United States and we have to wait what Bitcoin is doing. It basically doesn't matter if Bitcoin is going up or down, it's gonna be bearish for most alts out there. So yeah, look for opportunities, uh, have some bets out there, but uh, it would be very cautious at these levels for everything. Even Bitcoin, I would be quite cautious. So yeah, I don't know if this uh, update helps at all, but maybe you can uh, look for opportunities using the 30-day change and maybe you can look for opportunities uh, after Bitcoin has decided where it will actually want to go and sometimes it's good to wait until you can see that some alts are making green numbers on a consistent basis and then look for opportunities altcoins that have not yet moved that are quality projects and then enter those positions and not enter when everything is still going down so you can wait or you can just be greedy and get in already but to sell at the bottom i don't know if that's smart either so just you have to consider your current alt that you are holding if it's worth holding if there's something better out there if the tokenomics still makes sense if it's actually uh, fixing a problem that is massive and more valuable than the circulating supply or the total supply and just go from there. I hope this video helps just a little bit. I hope you got some new ideas. 
and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.